Hey Sagittarius, it's Suzanne here to do your weekly reading for February 3rd through the 10th. All right, so heads up, the garbage people are going to be coming through this morning. Um, so if you hear dogs barking in the background, that is why. So I'll apologize ahead of time, but let's hope that that doesn't happen. All right, so we're going to start with a an, um, Queen of the Moon Oracle card, okay? And then we're going to pull two cards from the Tarot de la Nuit. So... I'm not designating ahead of time which card is for you and which card is for your person. That will reveal itself. But of course, in a general reading, you can flip-flop the characters if you want to or if it resonates better in the other direction. That's okay. So we're going to start with this card. Ooh, nice. Sagittarius. Abundance. Well, hell. All right, so this is a beautiful card. I love this card for so many reasons. Um, first of all, it's just surrounded in animals. And animals, you know, in so many ways give us unconditional love. So I feel like you are surrounded in unconditional love. This woman here is holding a fox, okay? You know, and it's like even the sly fox is giving her love all right so i feel like you have a lot of love coming into you from all directions which is beautiful okay now the number of this card is 38 which when broken down is 11 and 11 is a master number okay which is about illumination okay or illumination based on your intuition. So you might be you might be getting nudges from your intuition this week about something that just suddenly illuminates to you, something that comes to light. All right? You know, it's like, you know, she's surrounded by this full moon here, which is providing a lot of light. And this is light towards her abundance. So this is a beautiful card to start off with. Let's see what we have surrounding this. All right, so we have the Hermit card, okay? So this is the card of Virgo. So what's interesting about this card is that the direction that she is facing She's facing away from this abundance. You know, it's almost like this person is, there's somebody here that is withdrawing from a relationship or a connection. And what does the hermit do? The hermit is trying to find illumination which is what we just talked about so I feel like I don't feel like this is you I feel like this is the other person and this is without even turning over this card because this card reflects this card in so many ways um, you know it's almost like this person has to has to step away from a relationship to gain illumination which is almost like a mirror image of this card for you what does this card say strength you know and I got to tell you in all of the readings this week you know it's amazing how many how many times that the this main Oracle card is surrounded by two major arcanas all right, so I feel like this is representing you. And if you notice here, 
you are facing away from this abundance as well. Because it takes strength and courage to listen to your intuition and to allow yourself to be illuminated. I feel like by the end of the week, you know, these cards will be flipped where you're both looking at the abundance of this connection. This person has gained a lot of insight and illumination and you have gained a lot of courage and strength. So you both can move towards the abundance of this connection. But for now, this is where we're at. All right, so let's take a look. For you, again, we're using the Thelema deck. Whoops. There's that garbage truck coming. Oh my gosh, be prepared. You're going to hear it. <laughs> okay, so let's see. What do we have? Tower. Okay, there's no card that better defines, you know, a huge illumination. Look at, look at how much light is in that card. And so many people, you know, are afraid of the tower I'm here to tell you, don't ever be afraid of the tower because, you know, this is, this card above every other card is what, you know, what's the next card here? It's the star. It's your heart's desire. This is what needs to happen to allow you to experience your heart's desire or a truth that is being revealed to you, okay? So don't ever be afraid of this card. It might come in in an unexpected way. But, and it may not feel great in the moment, but when you look back on the tower, the tower is always a good thing, always. Now, the tower might also be a good thing in itself. You might see it as a good thing right from the start, and it's because, you know, you might be able to see things from a higher perspective, you know, as you spiritually grow, too. Okay, but for people that are not awakened or have not found that path yet in life, this can be somewhat terrifying. But it's the tower always brings good. All right, so we can see that something is happening here. <laughs> Look at that. So, what I just say. The tower always brings good. And then to follow, we have the Ten of Cups. That is what we're talking about here. Complete emotional fulfillment, love and commitment. We have the swans here. Swans mate for life. So this could be about the two of you could be life partners or soulmates that aren't seeing each other. You know, the two of you need to go through some type of illumination and reflection and strength. And, you know, somebody has to find the courage to look at the light, to go through this tower so we can get to this Ten of Cups. All right? Okay, so we have the Five of Swords. So remember, the card for you is the Strength card. And what might precede the Strength card is the Five of Swords. So the Five of Swords is about a lot of internal conflict. So while you might see the, the opportunity of Ten of Cups 
and you might be going through a tower moment of some kind right now. Um, the Five of Swords. Fives are the agents of chaos, agents of change. So change, transformation is never easy for people, right? It's easier for some than others because some people have the outlook that, you know, the universe always has my back. And then some people have the, the outlook, you know, that the universe never has my back, which is absolutely not true. But I feel like there is some internal conflict and struggle probably around finding the strength to do something here that moves you towards your abundance with this person, possibly an earth sign. You know, we've got Leo and Virgo energy here. Are you kidding me? Strength. So this validates that this is your card, meaning in this reading, that you absolutely need to find the courage to do something that moves you towards your Ten of Cups. The universe is absolutely trying to help you right now, okay? And this can come in when, you know, you refuse to look at the abundance that's sitting there waiting for you. All of this unconditional, there's some type of unconditional love that is out there waiting for you. It's possibly this person right here. This person who, you know, may have needed to move away from this connection in order to find illumination in this abundance, in this connection. Who knows how long this has been going on. But the Ten of Cups is definitely here. And this reading is definitely talking to you about needing some courage to do something right now. And the universe is pushing you to do it. They're showing you what's possible when you do this, but you're in a little bit of conflict about it. Maybe a little afraid to do something. So let's clarify this Five of Swords. <laughs> All right, so we get Four of Swords. So not only are you in conflict about it, but you're way overthinking this, okay? Four of Swords is about, you know, in some cases, taking a break from something, all right? Um, but it's also about overthinking. And when I get the Four of Swords over the Five of Swords, this is definitely overthinking, but not in a, not in a great way, okay? It's you're overthinking about how conflicted you are about using the courage that you do have, using this universal push from this tower. Something happened in, in your life that is, is showing itself as the push towards a Ten of Cups type of connection. All right. So I'm going to pull one more card over this Four of Swords. Ace of Wands. Okay. <clears throat> Ace of Wands is a fresh start, a fresh, passionate start. So what are you overthinking about? You're overthinking about this fresh start that can bring you this Ten of Cups connection. It's here. It's here for you. It's abundant in nature. But I feel like in this particular case, it's calling for you to have some courage to do something here. You know, you're probably saying, well, what should I do? Well, let's see. I'll pull another card. Okay, so we have the devil. All right, so devil is the card of Capricorn, right? 
Capricorn has shown up a lot in uh, Sagittarius's readings. You need strength to potentially move towards a Capricorn or, um, or you need strength in order to overcome living a, some type of lie that this tower is trying to push you away from. Okay? The devil is the card right before the tower. So, don't tell me that, that this strength isn't about trying to move you away from living some type of lie. It's either that or it's about having courage to move towards a Capricorn, which I know for some of you that is the case. All right. All right. So let's see what we have for the person that you are watching this video for. Okay, so remember, this person is possibly moved away from this relationship or connection to gain illumination. So let's see what we have for them. Ten of Wands. Okay. You know, uh, this person could have been at some point too willing to please in this connection. This person could have, um, this person could be blaming themselves right now for why this hasn't come together yet, or if it came together and didn't work exactly the way that you expected. This person is holding a lot of blame on their self, and this is more than likely why they are looking away from this connection right now. They're blaming their self for something. And then we have the Knight of Wands. Look at the Knight of Wands is going right directly towards this Ten of Wands. This person, you know, could have, there could have been some type of indiscretion or indiscreet behavior that this person exhibited with you that they, that's a heavy burden for them at this point, that they may not like about themselves, or this could be, you know, you know, the Knight of Wands can be the, the player card. They may have acted like a player in some way, and now that is a heavy burden for them because in actuality, Knight of Wands is right under the Ten of Cups. So, while this person might have represented as a knight of wands, it was, it was because they couldn't fully come forward in this ten of cups. All right. In other words, you know, again, about abundance, this person might not have valued their self enough to come to you in this full ten of cups energy. So they came in a lesser energy, and now that person is carrying that burden. Okay, Two of Wands. Two of Wands is about, this person has absolutely, you know, no, no doubt as to what they want to do when it comes to you. I'm I'm going to I'm going to pull some clarifiers down here in a minute, but they know what it is that they want to do. And it could have been after a long hermit period, but they're at the point where they know what they want to do. And then we have the death card. So The death card can be about an ending, but 
It can also be about transformation, which is very similar to this tower energy. This situation needs to transform. And the way that it needs to transform is this person, you know, is fearing being true to who they really are. Like we talked about with the Knight of Wands and this Ten of Cups. They fear being true to who they are, which I feel like is this Ten of Cups energy. Let's get some clarifiers. All right, so I want to clarify this Knight of Wands, this Two of Wands, and this Death card. All right, so we have the magician. So what this person is realizing is that they had much more personal power. They did have the tools to come to you in this energy, but they chose this Knight of Wands energy, which they are now, you know, regretting and carrying the burden of those actions potentially. Two of Wands clarified by the hermit. This is clarifying for us that this person is in this hermit energy, which is somebody that is looking away from this connection, possibly because, you know, there's pain in knowing that they went about this in the wrong way, verifying that this is them, okay? But after a lot of reflection, they know what they want to do. They know what they want to do. And I'm going to pull one more card. We have the High Priestess. This is knowing what you want to do, okay? It's confirming. So it's not telling me what they're going to do, but it's absolutely confirming that this person knows what they want to do now, all right? Death card clarified by the Six of Cups. So again, the death card for this person is, I feel like it's really about not being afraid of truly being true to themselves. What is being true to themselves is Six of Cups, knowing that knowing that, you know, that they are part of possibly a soulmate connection. And speaking to that, living to that versus this Knight of Wands energy. But this person is definitely realizing that they did have the power to bring forth this Ten of Cups Okay, so they're transforming into this Six of Cups energy. They're nostalgic about this connection. They've had illumination and realization and now know what they want to do. Okay. All right, so we're going to end this with pulling one card from your deck. One for you. And one for your person over this abundance. Okay, so for you, we have the Six of Pentacles. And for them, we have the Three of Cups. Okay, so I feel like, you know, with this Three of Cups coming right over this, you know, there is a celebration in an illumination, which is what we're what we're talking about here. This person, I feel like, is celebrating knowing what it is that they want to do within this connection. You, with respect to this abundance card, six of pentacles, you know, your <laughs> you this is reflecting this energy here, okay?
because Six of Pentacles is trying to determine do I do I have do I still have potential with this person or do I not have potential with this person? You know, am I able to gain something back here or is this a total loss? You're, you're at this pinnacle. Again, it feels to me like even though this person knows and you know has had a lot of illumination here, with this strength card over this devil card, I feel like the heavier energy is with you as far as the next step. Again, this could be reversed. But with the Six of Pentacles, it can go either way. And I feel like it has a lot to do right here and right here. We've got a double, we have a double dose of strength here. We have a double dose of hermit here. Okay. Um, I feel like it's being called to you. To make the next step possibly towards a Capricorn or having the courage to not live a lie in some way whatever that means to you all right Sagittarius that is what I have for you for this week I will be posting an, another um, topical reading at the end of the week so if this didn't resonate with you you can check that out that will be posted either Friday or Saturday um, Weekly readings, you know, sometimes I get all of them up on Monday. Sometimes I post them all on Tuesday. Regardless, um, you know, sometimes I post half on one day and half the next day. You know, it just depends on what I have going on a little bit. But, you know, all of the readings will always be posted by Tuesday at 2 p.m., okay, at the latest. You know, I might start posting them on Sundays. But, um, you know, I know it's frustrating for those of you that are waiting for your readings, um, but just know that that's, that's the guaranteed end time for all of the readings. Um, but it just, it really depends on, on what I have going on too. But, you know, you are definitely a priority and I want you to know, I want you to know that. All right. So, and I randomly pick, you know, which readings I'm going to do. Sometimes I post all of the earth signs together, all of the fire signs, you know, and so on. And sometimes I will post air, water, fire, earth. Um, but I randomly pick, you know, the order that I, you know, go in. So there's just no rhyme or reason to how they come through. All right. That's enough. That's what I have for you. We made it through with no dog barking. Hooray. I can't believe it. <laughs> Um, and I will talk to you later in the week. All right. Have a good one. Bye-bye.